Minister Paul Watchman on the Wall, Northern California, Thursday, 12 21 17, 9 26 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I am watching the General Assembly of the United Nations. They're calling it the 37th plenary meeting. A plenary is basically a smaller meeting that comes out of a larger meeting with some of the original people not attending. Basically, in a nutshell, that's what I understand it to mean. But this is regard to the, the group of people meeting. So this is this is the United Nations General Assembly, 37th, uh, and it's their 10th, in, in their history of the United Nations, it's the 10th emergency special session. And this is in regard to Trump finally doing the right thing and making Jerusalem uh, the capital and claiming, you know, uh, United States is a sovereign nation and we should be able to put our embassies wherever we want. And we've decided to put the embassy of the United States in Jerusalem. And there's this huge uproar in the General Assembly. So this latest emergency meeting, that only the 10th ever in the history of the United Nations, as I understand it, is being numbered the 37th meeting. And amazingly, it's in regards uh, it's, it's in regards to United Nations Resolution 377. And the reason why I'm being redundant in mentioning the, that this is the, this, that the, this is the 37th meeting and it's regarding this resolution 377, quote, Uniting for Peace Resolution, the reason why I'm saying this 37 and 377 is because of the time we are in prophetically and that an angel of the Lord Jesus Christ told me that when I saw these numbers they meant war and so I want to give you some scriptures in regards to this meeting and the message I'm receiving today I will speak about my health in a second video um, after I get back from a specialist, I see a specialist at 1 p.m. and then I'll have a major health update. Just keep me in your prayers. I want to respond to everybody on that issue, but to me, this is so much more important. Compels us all to act with urgency, and it also calls for urgent negotiations mm -hmm. on, the basis, on the basis of compromise and commitment, all to act with urgency, and it also calls for urgent... Hmm. Negotiate us further and that further away from a solution to the situation in the that? Middle East. It is vital that we refrain from any steps that will further hinder the two-state solution being arrived at. The only solution to this question is the two-state one, a state of Israel and a state of Palestine. See, separating and trying to divide God's land according to the Bible. It was so strange. You know, I've been watching this. This is like the fifth country I've watched give their statement regarding the two-state solution in the peace process in the Middle East. That's the very first time it's rolled up and said, urgency, urgency, three times. I, I mean, like, it, it's the first time it stalled. It just went to him saying urgency. And it's pretty strange because as you heard the, the, the phone vibrate in the background, that was a 5.2 earthquake in central Iran. In watching what you're watching right now, the 37th meeting regarding the United Nations, Three, uh, three, seven, seven. Iran was one of the nations that just spoke that I listened to, and they called this a spiritual war, and that was their spiritual home. So let me. This is going on right now. I'm watching it. Living within and international efforts to support the quest for a solution to the Palestinian question. Thank you very much, President. Let's see who comes up next. I thank Nicaragua. I now give the floor to Mexico. Mexico. So wait, I might have seen her already talk if this is a female. When that would make this recorded, even though it says live. Let me see. I have not been well. If it's a female. Gracias. Oh, no, it's not. Thank you, President. I guess President. it is live. Mexico abstained in this vote because we are alarmed about the distortion that is taking place of the legitimate quest for peace between Palestine and Israel. Today, 
we are further away than ever before from reaching an agreement. We are certainly no closer. Mexico does not see it as positive or useful to the peace process that a unilateral declaration has taken place to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Nor do we believe it to be useful and we see as disproportionate to convene an emergency session of the General Assembly in order to reject said unilateral declaration. The United States needs to be part of the solution to the conflict between Palestinians and Israelis and it should not become a stumbling block or indeed a further stumbling block that would hamper progress. We call for calm and restraint on all sides. Mexico is a strong proponent of dialogue as the way... So let me take you, this is a major emergency meeting that's urgent regarding the, the peace and, uh, and Israel. Now let me take you back, so this is today's date, it's December 21st, it's a solstice day. Let me, let me take you back to a message I received from a holy angel on July 5th. 2012 and then I want to show you some United Nations warning videos going back a couple years and I want to show you these scriptures first Thessalonians 5 3 of the New Testament the New Covenant says for when they shall say peace and safety and that is all as I watch nation upon nation upon nation come up on here as I make it live and it must also that's all they are talking the about spiritual and religious features of the holy and sacred places of that city. Mexico will keep its embassy in Tel Aviv. See? As so Mexico, of course, they're going against what the United States is doing, which is moving our embassy. And nation upon nation upon nation, you know what? They come up here and they say, through interpreters and stuff all around the world, they say this, peace and safety. That's all they're saying regarding Israel is I pray that people would listen to me while I still have the strength to talk listen for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape now listen sudden destruction is coming the tribulation now this woman with child in first Thessalonians 5 3 and these, these, these birth pangs travail upon a woman with child. So now look, a pregnant woman, do you understand? Is regarding the birth pangs in, in Matthew 24, 8. It says the beginning of the birth pangs. And this is Matthew 24. He's, and Jesus is saying, All these are the beginning of sorrows, these birth pangs, and he mentions them. Nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom, earthquakes, famines, and it's, it's, it's labeling this as the pains of childbirth of a pregnant woman. That's, that's all they are, are talking about at this. That's all they are talking about. Let's go live again. To the solution of the Czech Middle East Republic. peace process. On the contrary, it contributes to the differences between both sides, the Israelis and the Palestinians. This is what you're seeing. The Czech right Republic here. strongly believes that it is important to find an outcome regarding the Jerusalem issue at the negotiating table. You're hearing it live. Thank you very much, Mr. President. You're hearing it live. I you're seeing end time prophetic scripture happen Thank live. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Armenia has already expressed its position on the status of Jerusalem and has not changed it. They're all against the Israel. The status of Jerusalem is one of the most important issues on the international... Now let me show you something. This pregnant woman and these birth pangs and this, this sudden destruction that's going to come, you don't have a lot of time. If you go to Revelation 12, there's a spiritual war going on. This spiritual war is so intense and against the God's people and the, the Antichrist is trying to wear out the saints. And if you see the people on the front lines, the watchmen and messengers, all under attack, they're all under attack. 
And uh, it's because we're in a spiritual war, a war. We are in a war. Right now, as you watch this video, if you can watch this video, we are in a war. And it's because of all of these things. The Bible coming to an end. And in Revelation 12, what I was supposed to preach on, and look, it's 937. You know, I've been saying that five years. What I was supposed to preach on for two Saturdays and haven't had the strength to do now is this. Revelation 12 is where we're at in the, in the teaching, in the weekly teaching. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. Look, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and, and her head a crown of 12 stars. Now look at and this is this is the pregnant woman. It's a theme. And verse 12, Revelation 12, verse 2, And she being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. And then it talks about this, uh, this woman to give birth. Do you understand that these are the birth pangs? And it says when this all happens, what you're seeing live right now being streamed around the world, that when you see what they're talking about right now, positive solution to the Middle East peace process. The, it is important not to escalate the political and security situation. It's regarding the these numbers, 37 and 37. Latvia did not see it means that this. this solution would it can only the mean this, what the Bible the says. Jerusalem, and Sudden on it. destruction. Sudden destruction, man. I'm telling you, look at that man's eyes. Look at that man's eyes. For some reason, for whatever reason, God's willed it to have me have strength to give another message, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a message and upload it today. Look at that man's eyes. What do you see? What do you see? These people are being controlled by evil spirits in these last days. I want to take you back to the warning I got, and I'm just gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. Let's go to the date. The date was July 5th, 2012. An angel shows me numbers and says war and rebukes the enemy. This is in Zechariah 3. This dream is coming to pass right in front of my eyes. Right down to the, the numbers were 3 and 7. And it's right down to this emergency meeting, 37 regarding resolution 377 what i'm saying is this dream is now here and it was given to me by a messenger angel and i'm going to play it and let you hear the original just a few minutes of it please share this let someone listen hit the like button man you know please and this to be a four minute video but sometimes we'll turn what it i up. want and what god has planned is different that's the obedience i know somebody will watch this well, what does that mean? Well, I asked the Lord, you know, um, what is it? What do these numbers mean? And an angel appeared, and I knew it would be. I knew that was a holy angel sent from heaven by God. And he whisks me up, and suddenly we're in another place, and I don't know where we're at. I, I wasn't allowed to see what's around me. Isn't that weird? But I knew that that was an angel. And he just showed me uh, a big number three. Number three. And I'm big on the number three. I read it all the time. I July tell people 5th, the number three all the time. Jesus was in the earth three days. You know, was in the belly three days. I mean, the number three is all throughout the, the Bible. Three. If you don't believe that, then read it for yourself. The number three is throughout the whole Bible. And the angel, he showed me just a big number three, a holy angel. Hallelujah. And I know this will bear witness if your spirit, if, you know, this. We pray, Father God, for your, your wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And I just stared at this number. The angel's not saying nothing. He's just watching me as I stare at a big number three. Look at the screen. And so I asked the angel. I didn't even turn to him. It was just so powerful. I just said, what does that number mean, three? And the angel just said one word. He said, war. Which really surprised me because I'm thinking it means resurrection or you know, I'm thinking all these Lord, other things, but sometimes what we think is sudden. God, amen. God said His ways are higher than our ways, and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. When they say peace, he said it means war. Comes war. Do you get it now? Finally, do you get it? Comes war. And, and I'm, I'm wondering, well, like, am I should do I question the angel? Whoosh! 
Man, I'm taken to another location. Honestly, this angel takes me to another location. Again, I'm not allowed to see my surroundings like I have in some of my other dreams. I don't see anything. Just me and the angel standing to my left. Big angel. And I know it's a holy angel. And I'm standing in front of a big number seven. Seven. And I said, yeah, God, you know, seven days, the number of completion. Watch. God created the world in Watch. six days. And on the seventh day, he rested. You know, my mom taught me the number of seven is the number of completion. It's the number of perfection. You seeing that? And the angel, he's not saying anything. He's just standing there. Holy seven. Soft. You see this? I think this, amen. See, the Lord you revealed know, a little more. That was a messenger. I had the Holy it Spirit. wasn't a warrior angel. All over me. It right was a, a, a it was a messenger angel. It wasn't a ministering angel. It was a messenger angel. God just I promise you, twelve minutes. God dropped that in my spirit. Twelve minutes. Oh. Twelve oh four into the video. Let me see something. Twelve four. And his tail drew the third part of the stars in heaven and did cast them to the earth. Those are fallen angel saints. And the dragon stood before the woman, the pregnant woman about to give birth, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon it was born. This dream is coming to pass. Right down to the two numbers that God showed me. I'm not worthy to have received this information, but I'm obediently sharing it. I'm telling you, I'm not worthy. But this is happening right now in front of our eyes. I don't, it's over. It's over. Just go to my, just go to my video manager. How many videos will you have? Will you have? And just put in, the UN. Just put it that. It all makes sense now. I mean, literally, there's this this presence of the Holy Spirit all over me. Trump announced war. So you're looking at some of the players here. at the door okay so thank you for listening to this message the message is, is, uh, this is I'm going to tell you what the message is this is the message right here when they say peace and safety then sudden destruction comes I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say. I haven't made a video in a while. So listen, I see a specialist in three hours regarding my condition. <coughs> it hasn't improved. My condition hasn't improved. Uh, but it hasn't declined either. Amen. So I give God the glory that it hasn't worsened. You know, I'm not having to stay in a hospital. Um... So I want to make an update video just on my health after I see this specialist. I've had an outpouring of love and concern from all over this world. The love of Christ has been poured out for my wife and I. And I have held off to get stronger. Every day I seem to get a little bit stronger. But uh, I need to see this specialist today and I'll know more to see what he says. So that will be a video of its own. I did not want to detract at all from this message that when they say peace and safety comes sudden destruction. Because that's all they just said. That's all they just said. In meeting 37 regarding resolution 377 after a warning five years ago about the number three and seven. That is all they said was peace and safety. So there's only one thing that can happen, sudden destruction. 
I believe it's going to come through an act of war. That's what will start it. Father God, I pray for everybody. I pray for your protection. I pray for your peace. I pray for your mercy. I pray for your grace. I pray for your love. Lord, upon your people, I pray for your healing strength to come upon me to stand as promised according to your holy word. Minister Paul, watchman on the wall, still standing. Still standing. Remember, we are in a spiritual war. And spiritual wars are won spiritually. <laughs>